Alright, what's up, kids? Guys, time for another video. A talk about another story I saw on our local TV news. And this gives me an excuse to talk about mine and maybe some of you guys' childhood. You're in an age bracket that I'm in. I recently, a couple days ago, turned 51 years old. Uh, so I'm going to use this story here to kind of tell you about anybody watching this. Uh, your childhood compared to shit, shit you can could do back when we were kids, when we were kids playing and running around, uh, playing uh, cops and whether it was cops and robbers, playing army, playing commando, or we even did stuff that they call now LARPing, but we did our own version of it, taking you know I don't know sticks or pieces of conduit, anything we could find, play things like Zorro and all that. But anyway. Uh, this story, i um, show you the article in the beginning of the video once again. A place called Freeport, a dude got in trouble. I guess there were kids that were playing a thing called a game called Assassins. Or I remember when I was a younger kid, a teenager, there were two people playing like war, war games and different kind of stuff. Well, I don't even think people had the paintball games even back when I was younger. That was, wasn't even a huge thing. It was getting... I don't know. I'm trying to compare it with that. Um, the news story didn't completely tell us exactly what kind of toy gun the kids were holding, but there was a guy on an interview. Oh, I was scared. He had a black hoodie on. And I mean, the dude's right. In this day and age, I'm not making fun of the dude. The one dude's kind of right. You can't play the games that we used to play as kids. You know, you can get shot by a homeowner or the police. It's happened. And, uh, oh, in a minute, too, I'm going to tell you about an HBO, a movie on, remember HBO, the it, home box office, HBO back in the 1980s, a movie, this reminds me of, but I'm, I'm going to tell you that in a second, but anyway, uh, when we were kids, things are, like, way different, like, what, okay, we had, um, the cap guns, the little uh, powder rounds that were, you know, bang, bang, you know, the cap guns, and there was even uh, plastic toy hand grenades, we had squirt guns that uh, looked like actual, they were black plastic, and from a distance, what they looked like, you had the toy guns, right, that were made out of metal, and even opened up like a revolver when we were kids, and there wasn't no really big issues, I, I mean, uh, you guys and, and then me as well probably remember as kids, we were running around different areas, around places, uh, playing different games. You know, you had the toy guns or you did a little things that some people call it LARPing now. Running around all over the place, you know, playing our little uh, toy fantasy games or whatever, and there was no issue or anything. Uh, but now it's just gotten really, like, crazy. You just can't do that anymore. But, uh, yeah, stuff like, it just looks too real. I mean, I'm seeing this stuff on the news, and it's like, uh... But anyway, uh, when they were saying about they were playing Assassin, uh, this reminds me, like, right in the 1980s, 1984 or 85 or 86, around that era, I remember on uh, Home Box Office, HBO, there was a movie called Tag the Assassination Game. It even had a uh, catchy theme song. If you guys look on YouTube, I ought to look again to make sure they took it off because of copyright. But you can get the theme songs from different movies or clips from, a, from movies if YouTube don't take it down. But the movie Tag, the movie, it was an ac tag was a T-A-G, it was an acronym. Ac acronym, acronym, <laughs> the the assassination game tag. So uh, I'll tell you the plot in the movie in a second, but uh, it had a catchy little theme song. And I think it had the same same song played in the end credits after it was all over. And I want to give you, maybe, I'll give you maybe a spoiler. If you, you guys watch old movies, the plot of this movie 
is uh, there was like a university, college university, that played a game similar. They, they called it in the movie, it's a fictitious situation, tag the assassination game. It was a contest, I think they win prizes and be able to assassinate each other. They were playing spy versus spy, running around the universities. And it is not known that anybody in real life in a university ever did this back years ago. I'm, you couldn't do this shit now, but in the movie, yeah, they did this in the movie, right? And, um, yeah, they win prizes in a contest, and in the movie, the one guy got mad because he lost or whatever and, and all that stuff. And I don't want to be a spoiler with the movie, but it kind of reminds you of that. You can't go and do that in real life or whatever, but... Um, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we used to do as kids, you know, uh, with our little toys or whatever, uh, our, our toy pistols that they look too real. You you don't see that stuff in the stores anymore, but but in the, the movie, it, according to this, there was one guy that was winning all the time or whatever, too. I mean, you could say the game is comparable to what they do in real life in the designated place, like playing paintball, going around in camouflage playing paintball or whatever. But in the game, the plot goes, there was the guy, the really uh, smug, uh, narcissistic guy who was the winner. He was getting everybody and winning. He was at the top of the board. And somehow a freak thing happened that it actually counted as him getting knocked out of the game, it was kind of weird. He got accidentally in the little toy gun, the little toy plastic darting game. He got shot. I don't want to go on and on about it too much, but it counted as a that he got knocked out of the tournament, and uh, he was pr pretty much like uh, a really sore loser. So he took a uh, actual gun and started shooting people, and then the main protagonists, heroes in the movie, had to, and there was a cop in there, they had to go and get the guy before he did more damage or whatever. And, uh, but, but, yeah, that was a very uh, interesting movie. I was trying to not be a spoiler in the movie or whatever, but if you... All right, I'll tell you the end of the movie. The guy... Uh, and actually got his, he got shot, I guess the cops got him, and the, his last words when he fell dead before he got shot was, that wasn't fair, and then he falls over and dies, but anyway, he was the guy that, uh, it was a, in the university, you, you get what I mean, and it was like a game the university was playing, kind of like, similar to paintball or I spy, and but, yeah, nobody does that. I'm comparing it with that. I just remind... The situation reminded me of this movie, if you guys like old movies. But, like I said before, we had um, all kind of different things. Like, the, the toy guns, they looked like uh, plastic guns. Or even some of the plastic squirt guns looked too real. You know what I mean? Or, um, remember the movie Airheads? Which, that was just a comedy. Nobody does that in real life. But the guy had just a squirt gun and he took a radio... But it's crazy shit like that, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, um... But anyway, if you got this far with this jibber-jabber in this video, if you wanted to comment or something, um, that's what basically was gave me the excuse to talk about. Our childhood compared to now... You can't run around the neighbors. How the kids, uh, young kids, you know, whether it's seven, eight, nine, twelve, or in their teens before they outgrow that stuff. You can't do that shit anymore. It used to be harmless when we were kids. Now, you can't do none of that. You know what I mean? Um, in some cases, people used to play baseball in vac vacant lots. You know, now in a lot of places, you can. Get, kids can get fined for trespassing and stuff like that and everything now, but yeah, it's like um, yeah, pretty things are really crazy now because there's people actually doing real shit 
And, you know, kids can't go outside playing like they used to be playing, you know what I mean? Stuff that used to be harmless. I mean, it's kind of a shame, but that's the way it is. But 